everybody, how are you doing? Um, guys, I want to get through this video as fast as possible. Um, on the last, this last weekend now, I uh, came across Michael Cannon and his dad, Roy Cannon, on Inanda Dam, opening up the season for the Joey's Bass Trail. And it certainly was a tough day for a lot of people. And uh, I think we can all acknowledge that fishing is fishing at the end of, of the day. However, when I eventually came across uh, Michael and his dad, um, they were working right up in the top of um, a Durban Bay, uh, which is up near the, uh, let me just switch over. You can see it's down here. Um, they were working this bay down here. And they're moving quite fast along this shoreline here. From there, and they were heading sort of in a southwest direction from, from there. And they were moving quite quick. As you can see, as I was taking photographs, you can see the little bit of a wake on the trolling motor there. And they were working this water extremely fast. All of a sudden, they came across this little cove here. And guys, as you can see, they just slowed right down. This is something that they'd identified in pre-planning. And I can tell you, they worked through this area methodically, right in the back, underneath the recently flooded um, uh, uh, greenery there. And uh, I, I can tell you, they are like machines, how they cover this, this water methodically, regularly changing baits. And all of a sudden, Michael stopped. And he went down onto his knees, uh, or haunches, whatever, and he started looking at the charts. And what he was looking at was this little bay here. He was looking for something special in this area here. And I can tell you, if he went to the mosaics, it wouldn't have helped him much. You can see a lot of the offshore stuff there, which is really nice, as you can see there, some interesting offshore stuff. But they were right in the back of this cove here. And there wasn't much, you know, really exciting there. If we go to the satellite, you can see the contours come in. The contours show there is definitely a little inlet there. But there's, again, there's, there's, there's not quite enough information there. However, he then looked at Aerial HD. Aerial HD showed something very, very special, as you can see. Okay. Something happened here. Now, this was taken, if you go to the satellite and we change over there, uh, we go chart options, we change that to full. You can see the contours come in there. You can see there's a little bit of a saddle there from the contours, and but there isn't quite enough detail. It was nice and low, but there isn't quite the detail that we we're looking for. Then, like I said, he looked at his aerial HD and he was looking for something unique. Because remember, they were right in the back of this chart here, uh, in this little cove here. And if we look at uh, one of the first drone imageries that I ever used, it was called Accept T's and C's. The dam wasn't quite as low yet. This is when it first started dropping here around 2017. This is the area that I first started taking these geo-referenced images of. And this is what... He was looking at but aerial hd i believe uh, was the key now from the charts you can see there's a ledge there where the cursor is you can see there's quite a steep uh, that's a steeper drop off there and then there you can see there's a little bit of a ledge there but the thing that i believe that made the difference for this area was the eye level imagery now let me explain this eye level imagery to you I've got a little article here. Let me put that up. Okay, guys, this is what eye level imagery is. I used the drone when the dam was level to record images around the dam. The height at which I put the, the drone at was the amount of level that the dam was down, plus I added uh, six, seven feet from the water as if the, an angler was standing a typical angler was standing on the bow of his boat looking at that area, okay? And that's basically what you would see when the dam comes back up to 100%. Here's Michael Cannon on his boat here, or a guy on his boat here, and he's, this is what he would see from that angle, okay, uh, when, when the dam is full. 
Okay, this isn't the same area. This is just to show you concept of eye level imagery. He would just see all the water here. Your average angler will see that. However, fish tech chart owners will see this. They can select the image, the eye level imagery off the chart. They'll bang on it and they will see, you see on the bottom left here on this HDS 12 live here, they'll see that type of imagery. So they're going to know exactly what they were fishing. So what did Michael Cannon and his dad see when they came into this cove? I'm sort of blanked it out here with, with a, to simulate 100% water level to show you typically what it would look like. There was a lot of grass sticking out sort of in the center to the middle here, um, which you won't see in this. I'm not going to attempt photoshopping grass. <laughs> so you're just going to have to imagine that there's a little bit more, more grass here. But if you take the actual image they were using, the panoramic imagery of the fish tech charts, that is what they would have seen. So let's go back, refresh your memory, take a screenshot of that with your mind, and boom. That is what Michael Cannon had to work with for this area. So what are the identifying spots? What makes this special? Just looking at this image here. I can tell you, number one, it is that hard sort of drop-off area. It's quite a steep area. It looks quite gnarly as well. There's some, uh, I don't know if it's like a, a rocky type of clay, sort of a granite, whatever you want to call it, type of um, a, a composition there. And then, of course, where the little island is, where they eventually targeted, this is what Roy was targeting, was this little island here. And guys on the right here, you see those little green strokes there? That is where uh, Roy capitalized. And he found, let me find it for you. Uh, let me find that image. Let me find it for you. Okay, we're back there. Okay, he was looking at his charts. He looked at some of the images. And boom. I went and missed it on video. I was on record. And when I hit record, I actually stopped the recording. So I missed the whole excitement of Roy's cast out to that little ledge that you saw just now as he brought his bait over that little ledge there in amongst the grass you would never see it with the naked eye but the fish know it's there and bang Roy got himself a beautiful keeper in uh, uh, let's call it tough conditions so guys yeah if we go back to the charts here you can clearly see where uh, a place where where their boat roughly was their boat was roughly there and they were casting out to that there and then obviously that fish I believe came off that little drop off there so if we go back we put that into 3d and we spin that around that's the sort of view that they had of that spot if we oh no they're actually a little bit more in so let's move our way in there there we go, because they were sort of right in that pocket there. Let's spin it a little bit. That's basically from the center of the screen that you see there, going out to that little island that had little tufts of grass on it. And that is where Roy got his fish. And guys, basically that's the way to use the charts. And uh, uh, as a summary, let's just say as the heading of the video goes, that's why Michael Cannon uh, is, is, is such a good uh, uh, utilizer of his charts. Thanks for watching. Please, guys, uh, subscribe and hit the little bell on the right-hand side. I'll really appreciate it. Thank you.